Hello, hello everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Breath of the Wild adventures with presumably the Champion's Ballad, I do believe is what it is. Yep, the Champion's Ballad. Because last time we uh, did Rudania and that then unlocked like uh, Zelda coming on in and saying, Link, there's another thing. <laughs> go do it. So I was like, oh, sure, we'll go do it. And then it was just like a whole challenge thing. So <laughs> after that, we unlocked the four points across all of Hyrule that are apparently part of the Champion's Ballad. So what we're gonna do, you know, I actually forgot that there was a shrine that we haven't done there. <laughs> But first things first, we're gonna go to Terrytown so that I can buy some more arrows. Because we used up a lot of arrows, and if the rest of the Champion's Ballad is anything like... What? Like, uh, the initial, well, I guess, initiation was like. We'll want as many arrows, and I do believe dear Rito Boy Fison should have... Some arrows for us to buy. Let's see. He has five, but that is a decent chunk of money. Then again, that is 50 bomb arrows, so they shouldn't really complain. <laughs> How many of these do you have again? Then again, this is 35. How many is that? Well, I'll take, I'll take that, definitely. And we'll take at least a few bundles of the others. Because we used up a lot! We used up a lot! So we need lots of arrows. Just in case. And even if I, like, this is meaningless and it's kind of more like the... Sword Trial, which we need to do the last one of that eventually. If it's anything like the sword trial, this will all be meaningless, but fear is the mind killer. I guess the first one we'll go ahead and do is, first we'll go do that, uh, shrine that apparently we didn't do, but oh, let me see, do I have, uh, yeah, we have enough for something or something. Hmm, I think... I want another heart container. Because, like, the more heart containers I get, the the better I'll do in the last sword trial. <laughs> Definitely. And who knows, maybe the, it depends if this will be a one-hit kill thing, too. Let's see. Because I do believe that we, yeah, annihilated our eagle bow. So what we'll actually do is, uh, let's see, do we have a swallow? We do have a swallow bow. So what we will do is we will go and get our Ravali bow fixed up up here in Rito Village. Then we'll go do the shrine off down in Death Mountain area. Then we'll probably stick around and do the Champion's Ballad for Death Mountain. That little dot. And then... We'll see how long that all takes me. Because I'm not sure if this will be a long, long stream or... A shorter stream. Brain has been trying to wallop me lately. Which is why, uh, Monday... I did not stream because the brain was evil. I'm sorry. I can just do this <laughs> eternally. He gives me the bow. Oh, I need more wood. Darn. Well, I keep forgetting. Terrytown stole all of my wood. It's not my fault that Terrytown is a place of evil when it comes to wood. They demand all the wood from you. Let's see. What do we want to use as a... Schmiggity schmack. I guess we'll just use the Master Sword. And 
how many woods do we need? We need five. And remember... What good... Boss Ramis... Hyrule taught us. We need to... Schmiggity schmack it from a specific angle to make it fall where we want. I wonder if that's like a... Rough equivalent of real life lumberjacking. Of course, with like how unwieldy trees can be, it's probably not in all of everything. Hi. <laughs> Luck is on your side, pal. The village is finally quieted down. Yep. Huh. I'll not keep you. Go get some rest. I wonder if she'll comment on her son being missing. Hi. Hello, and welcome to the you did it. Nope. <laughs> she doesn't even know fison has gone, probably. I do still like, really, really like the Rito. They are quite nice. But we're gonna get our great eagle bow. Because if it is danger zone that we're going to, we'll need all of the arrows flying that we can throw out. Please make me a good bow and arrow. I have plenty of diamonds, and I think I have 60 luminous stones that I could go give to just get another six diamonds. The diamond is not <laughs> all that special to me. But I also really like your, like, uh, colorful shoulder pads. Now, let's see. Well, first things first, get that off. Don't want to burn this place down. Uh, we'll keep it to Knight's Bow since we're heading to Death Mountain for a shrine. Because for some reason, I just forgot to do this. Could have sworn that I did all of the shrines out here already. Well, not all of the shrines out there, but all the shrines that I activated. And then that just didn't do until later. I thought I did all of those. Because there's doubtless plenty of shrines that I'm just missing and have not done yet. I forget. Why did I not do you? Oh, yeah, because uh, this is up the way to Elden Bridge. Yeah. So I didn't want to cut up my adventures with, uh, you know, boo. Let's see. Alright, so, activation noises. Things are happening. What? Alright, I am... Bit confused. I'm I'm curious. Obviously, I ah okay. I was on the right track. I was gonna go. I wonder what happens if I just freeze it while it's like down. I think the only way up there is to actually climb that thing. Oh, I can't even climb it. But I can do this. I wonder if this is a physics object, if it'll hurt me. Huh. Interesting. Very simple. I don't even think there are any treasure chests in here. <laughs> well, it'll <laughs> probably tell me if I look at it on the map. That's kind of adorable. Kind of little m trial thingy. Very neat. I could have easily done that one while we were coming up here to save Rudania from evil. But alrighty, the next thing is we are gonna go all the way down there. 
we are going to begin the Death Mountain Champions Ballad. Just see what is what is. I wonder if I could, like, touch lava with this. Like, obviously not wade in lava. That would obviously kill me. Big on, peace. I forget if this is like a super good one or not. Let's see, do I have a... Uh, we do have you. We got Topazes. We never did find that kid's treasure. We'll have to look for it. Guess the kid drowned himself enough. So we decided to pass out. Why is it playing the creepy music? Maybe this is just like... The beginning of the Goron music and I just never paid attention? Could be. So we're gonna try and get all the way across to the road. Isn't that where the Guardian is? A patrolling guardian that was just tweaking out. I forget. But that does look like interesting structures that I want to look at there. What? Cass? How are you alive? This is Death Mountain. Maybe you're just built different. We must find him. We must find the boy. We must pinpoint. Are we going further away or are we going closer? Oh, nope. Yeah, going. I just had to turn right and I didn't. The boy! Completely forgot that you might be part of this because Ballad. How the hell are you surviving? I applaud your courage in coming here. The locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Why are you so ominous? Alright, that's basically on top of Death Mountain. Oh, and there's three of them. Oh boy. What's the uh, word of like... Using a map to navigate? Ooh. What was that? Flash of light. Perhaps it was my imagination playing tricks on me. Oh. What's this? A traveler in the land of flame? Rich coming from you, Birdman! I mean, I guess there are those birds running around that, again, I joke, are insulated by their feathers. But still, you come from Rito land. Are you truly able to withstand the heat? I know it's not my business, but I am rather concerned. Mm. It must be that you applied an ample amount of fireproof elixir just as I did. Is that so? Huh, I guess. I guess it kind of makes sense that, yeah, Rito would be able to use elixirs as well. <laughs> nope, I have this outfit. Oh. How about that? You must have a natural ability with stand intense heat just like the Gorons. As for me, if I don't use fireproof elixir, I go from a bard to a baked bird. Well, never mind my musings. Oh. This monument, I must admit it has taken me by surprise. My teacher's unfinished song mentions such monuments, and now one has appeared before my eyes. Unfinished song? Mm. Yes. The song is mostly complete, however... My teacher left this world without finishing the key verses. I wish to weave the missing pieces together and finish the song. Oh. That's why I'm roaming the areas mentioned in the lyrics. Oh. I wonder if my teacher ever contemplated this very song at this very spot. The song my teacher left behind. 
there's a verse about the trials that Champion uh, Daruk went through. Allow me to sing it to you. I did not realize that it went autopilot. Crawling flame on a mighty peak. Rudania's champion ever weak. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. One stop a titan of molten stone. Two follow rings of light alone. Three survive lovers fiery fate champion trials await I do like that it's like a different accordion song from usual so did the verse move you it was written in honor of the champion challenging the trial I can imagine it vividly the champion's vigilance from a hundred years ago oh. my teacher always advised that to write good songs one must travel the world and meet lots of people. That is why I spend my days afoot talking to anyone who will listen. I was lucky enough to meet the Yunobu and Bludo and uh, meet with Yunobu and Bludo in Goron City, both of whom knew much about the Goron champion. They regaled me with some rather interesting stories. Mm. I'm certain these stories they shared will help greatly in my efforts to accurately write the song's key verses. Thank you, my dude. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. All right, so there it follows like the what are they called? The hot springs up into a lava bed that has like a monster base, and following that leads to a pool of lava. All right, so. Hmm. Uh, I could also be that the, it isn't uh, orientated like mine, because there are grass. Well, there is grass, or kind of like grassy fields, and the the hot. Like a hot spring pools with lava. There seems to be going up into greater lava. I don't think that it would be like purely upside down like that. Don't think it would be down there either. Hmm. I'll have to go by the bigger bits. Oh! Maybe this could be it. Maybe. Because there is a pond up into lava that kind of goes up. That kind of looks like it, to a degree, because this pond has a little bit of land in it. So that could be it. In fact, I'll also take that. I'll quickly still look this over. Because... Again, there's the lava. Or, like, the hot springs. And then lava... That begins. Kind of goes up. And then further up. Which does seem like this. Because water, lava, that goes up into a pool with a little bit of landmass that goes further up and does seem to split. So I do believe that I have that one nailed down. Let's go with the more obvious one. This is obviously the top of Death Mountain, which then goes into some Greenland. So let's see... Because if it's going into obvious green land, it can't be any of, like, these sides. Well, it'll probably just be easy to place a whole thing up there. 
And let's see, the last one is... Okay, there's bones. Kind of a crab rock pool over arc. Okay. Because there are bones. But that. Oh, crab rock! And then the over arc into Lake Darman? Crab rock that goes under an over arc up. Okay. So, like there. Roughly. Roughly speaking. Alright, well, we're gonna head towards the blue pin. Thanks for being here, dear Cass. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. I guess I'll put Wind Cleave on. Doo -doo. Damn. First, we're going to head over to the blue marker. Hmm. I wonder if shooting that will just, like, activate more. Nope, just the one. Haha. -ha. Figured I might as well shoot that just in case it gave me a Korok Seed for doing the single one. We'll go ahead and climb up as we make our way to the blue. And then we'll go up to Death Mountain to find that single spot. Luckily that one we don't need to know the precise location. We just need to know that we need to stand on one of the kind of jutting up pieces of Death Mountain. And then, off into the lava. I probably should have listened to the song again. Because it's, like, withstood lava, fought an Igneo Talus, and went through lings, uh, Rings of Light. Was roughly the song that Cass sang. Which I can totally see Daruk doing the first two, but going through Rings of Light, I wonder what that is. Am I going to have to, like, uh, what's the word? Shield surf down through rings? That'd be amusing. But onwards we go. You know, I just realized I haven't had to cook anything in a long time. Be gone, Choo Choo Satan. Yep. Scared the lizard away, but I don't quite need him. Who needs elixirs when you have fashion? Why are you bouncing so much? Do you just see me out of nowhere? Illegal. To hell prison. You go. Well, I see an Igneo Talus over there, but I don't think that's the one I need to kill. Would be kind of funny if any Igneo Talus would do for the quest, but I doubt it. Oh, man, there's also another Korok C. Diddly D over here. Which is very simple and obvious. Up oh, wrong one. We go over here. And then that metal became stone. These Koroks know how to transmute stone into metal and back probably thing and how do they know that I <laughs> then again come to think of it why do the Koroks know that I have like magnesis or do they just expect like uh what's his name 
the Shakala guy to have magnetic powers. Alright, there's just these guys standing here. Uh. What you gotta say? Lord Daruk trained here. Intense training. That fire in your eyes. Oh. Why are those two so angry? Why are they so angry? So sweaty, brother. <laughs> Pump it up, brother! Do you know why Champion Daruk chose this place to train, brother? Neither do we, but us Goron Blood Brothers are gonna find out by completing the training ourselves! I'm sure this is part of some Lord Daruk's secret Goron Champ training. Intense! We're gonna do all we can to be mighty Gorons just like Lord Daruk! It's the only possible path for the Goron Blood Brothers! <laughs> Feel the part, brother! You see that glowing ring in the lava? Think of it as a target, and Stand on the lava, brother! Uh -huh. So sweaty, brother. Even Gorons can't walk on lava. I wonder if Lord Duke really did this training. Not that I doubt him, brother. No wonder Lord Duke chose this spot. It's hardcore, brother! This training is gonna be rough. I can almost taste the gains! <laughs> Time to strategize, brothers! Hmm. Well, considering that there is a metal box, multiple metal boxes, I think I know. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, interesting. Oh! Like, actually locking on, dudes, activates, uh, Daruk's power. I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> oh, that knocked you the fuck out! That's mine now. I'm gonna kill you with it, because it'll be funny. I wonder if they'll think of it as cheating, since I'm using metal boxes. Because I was thinking maybe I could do, I don't know, launch the... Like, uh... What are they called? The ice arrows? I wonder if that technically counts. Right, so I can technically stand. Oh. Oh, I can still grab them. It's just that, uh... They hurt. Neat. The fact that there's, like, no visual indicator is slightly worrying. Hmm. Alright, so... It is... Get this a bit closer. I thought that was gonna roll me in. All right. So technically we can stand in lava, it just hurts a lot. And also I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to get out, but... Mm -hmm. I do like that there are these Goron brothers that are like uh, a little hint for what you need to do for the specific area. Now let's see. I'll quickly just munch chilies to get my health back. <laughs> oh, and then a shrine's gonna pop up. The question is still, how the hell am I gonna get out of here? Still 
interesting that these ones have a unique design to them. With their little tippity tops. Please put me on land. I don't want to be on the box forever. Good. So sweaty, brother. The golden ring is gone. Now I don't have to do that crazy training. Thank goodness. Pump it up, brother! What happened here? I look away for one blasted second and the golden ring disappears! Now I can't try the epic training! Woe is me, brother! <laughs> From YouTube chat? Hi! I love this game. Breath of the Wild is very good. And this is the furthest I've ever gotten in it. I just need to find where the shrine cropped up. There you are. It's a, up a little bit more than I looked. I've never done the Champion's Ballad before, so this is interesting. I was half worried that it was going to be another uh, no-hit challenge or die. It would be scary. <laughs> do you need to play Tears of the Kingdom? I do need to. That's kind of why I'm playing this first. So I have, like, more experience. I can appreciate what they changed between... Breath of the Wild to Tears of the Kingdom, though not everything. Like, I'm not going to be super tuned in to, like, the pro strats and, like, the glitches. <laughs> Got the Master Cycle on Master Mode. Yeesh. I have not played Master Mode. I don't think that... Like, maybe I'll check it out, but I just, uh, from what I've seen, Master Mode is, uh... Hell. Luckily, I have Goron armor. The real question is, who did they expect to get here of just elixirs? Like, I can just walk through. But I also want to, uh... I'll just... Want to see, because maybe they have treasure. Also, that just brought down more flame upon my head. I am flame-proof. Frame-proof eternal. I do like that you can kinda sorta cheese some things if you upgrade armor. Oh, motion controls! It's been a bit. Like, I'm, I'm curious, what does this do? Ah, uh, it's just like, ah, can you navigate blood sea? Is there treasure? Doesn't look like treasure. Darn. So we'll just put it back since I can just walk on through. <laughs> Love your videos. Bye. Thank you for checking in for even just a moment. Thank you very much. Like, maybe that could be a bonus stream. <laughs> Watch Neon suffer in master mode for a few hours. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. I paid some fairies to upgrade my armor. <laughs> Rudanya's emblem. The commemorative symbol of fire of a fire trial's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. Oh boy! That's new. Did not expect that. I thought it was just gonna be a spirit orb. Instead, it's a slightly not spirit orb. Also, how do you have like a Rud Oh no, it's Rudanya, not Daruk. But at the same time, these appear because of us following in the footsteps of Daruk. I guess it could technically be that, uh, what's the word? That Daruk did the things necessary to do this trial because this is meant to be a, oh, are you, uh, are you worthy enough to have a divine beast? So these are things that Daruk did to become worthy of Rudanya. And I have to prove that I'm better than everybody by doing all of these trials and not just one. Although now that makes me think of a funny aha. What if this just allows me to drive any of the divine beasts wherever I want to go? 
That would be hilarious, but obviously not. Them giving you control over the divine beasts in an open world game would be insane. Up we go. Up we go. We'll just have to look for the obvious sign of you need to do this up here. So we stood in the lava. So this might be Igneotalus or... Oh, then again. That was also a, a shining ring of light. So it is possible that that counted as the ring of light one. Take a bit of climbing. Also, there's a, I presume, a topaz like Bob to Bob here that I want to grab. Didn't even give me topaz. Luckily, I am rich. I have almost, or at least I had almost 20 diamonds. And I can get, like, six more diamonds just on a whim. Also, what did, like, Boss Rom, uh, like, Rome Boss Bramus Hyrule do to this kite to make it so that it doesn't burn when I'm literally climbing Death Mountain? It's a magical piece of top and wood. Up we climb. Up we climb. Up we climb all the way. I would use Ravali's Gale, but I don't, I'm not sure if that would get me decent enough height up here. Because it'll just be one of these, like, my brain wants to call them teeth. The teeth of Death Mountain that kind of encapsulate the cauldron top. But this is interesting and unique. Slowly gotta climb. Slowly gotta climb. I wonder if there's anybody who's done, like, science on, like, the efficacy of, like, rushing climbing versus doing it the slow way. Like, how much stamina is wasted by doing the jump as opposed to doing it slowly. Because I think there is some lost, but I'm not sure, like, how much is lost. Legend of Zelda's been around long enough. Surely somebody must have done the science, cracked the numbers. There's probably like an a, a more like official good way to get up. Meanwhile, I'm just like, yeah, I climb. I climb all the way to the top of Doomsday. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. From this angle, Rudania looks like a satellite installation rather than a giant mechanical lizard. Hello, moon. Glad to see you're not a blood moon. I think we should be able to get up here. Go a flat bit. Just like. Slowly build up stamina a bit. I do like the like embers flying in the air from the lava. Now I wonder in the universe of like Legend of Zelda, who discovered like elixirs? Who killed monsters and put the monsters' parts into a potion and went, this does things? 
I probably could have teleported up here to stand alongside it. Don't you dare teleport me. Damn it. Well, I guess I'm close. Let's see. Oh, fly, fly. I see you. Time to take flight. Take to the sky. Darn it. I, my paraglider did not come out. Cheats me. Feels like I'm being lured to my demise by spirit magic. Luckily, I had plenty of time. So how did Daruk do that? That's a real question. How do he do it? You better be down here and not atop Death Mountain. You, you evil shrine, you. I was going right towards you. Huzzah. Sharolun. I wonder what this will be. For some reason, it jumped to my mind. I still stand by, I think the Yiga clan should have been the technological ones. Like, I think there should have been more, like, technological Yiga stuff. Because they broke off from the Sheikah because they felt betrayed by the Hylians. Ah, uh, this is going to be another one I can just stand here. Because this is probably meant to be like, oh, get down on the other side so it blocks it. I am wearing fireproof armor. I am wearing asbestos. And I'm kind of curious what... Like, potential secrets might be on the loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ah, uh, the game knew. The the developers knew that players would want to loop de loop around, so like, <laughs> they fall to uh, oblivion. You idiot! You're, you're gonna die. All right, so now they've upgraded from fire to spikes. Well, that's rude. There's uh, another hole there, yeah. I see you. Oh, and another hole there, too. Potestuka! You dare give me option to climb down, but then you do not safely climb me down? I have been fucked by you cheats! You If I can click climb down, that means... Climb down, not to fall. Heavenous child. Although, hmm, uh, my brain's just like, ah, oh, look at that. Hit, hit the button. Even though it's not hit button, it's just. Oh, you're gonna spawn there, aren't you? Or did I already kill you? I forget. <laughs> I wonder if I could use, like, Rivali's Gale to cheat some of this. I need to use it more. It's, it's, it should be on, like, a slow... 
Oh, treasure chest. You know what? I am curious. I not. I was gonna say. I was gonna say, the moment I put that in place, it stopped spawning. Flame blade durability up. I do have a flame blade, but it's not durability up. Get the fuck out! Get! I've had that flame blade since, like, near the beginning of the game. Oh, shit. I fall to my doom. I wonder if I'll land back there, since I was on solid land, if I'll go back to the beginning. Probably back to the beginning. Or at least the beginning of this route. I wonder how long this perpetual motion machine has been going on. What powers the Sheikah technology? The souls of baby Sheikah. See, it does seem like, like, oh, they want you to jump up here, climb, get on, but I have asbestos! And plus, I'm a hero. It's not like I'm gonna live a long time. I'm gonna die young. Hilarious. I was just like, hmm, I'm curious of the... Ba-ba-ba-ba. <laughs> Like, uh, set bonuses. I get the set bonuses. Trivializes some stuff. Didn't even mean to. It's not even like a min-maxing of like, oh, I know these challenges are gonna come up on ahead. I shall maximize my chances of victory by upgrading my diddly d stuff. No, I'm just like, hmm, I want to upgrade my armor. And so I did. I did it, you coward. I did it. I got another Rudania coin. That I know, dear monk, that I do know. I wonder why I can't skip this section. I guess because it says one remains. <laughs> that is important information. I have to know it. But very interesting. I thought that this would be like a whole thing. In a way, it kind of isn't. Which is neat. Hmm, I'm trying to think what the best way to... Like, I guess technically the best way would probably to do that. And then we can go talk to Cass again. Like, yeah, probably the best way is to... Like, climb these peaks. And then glide around the edge, rather than trying to... Go across the lava lakes. By t uh, teleporting anybody el anywhere else. Granted, I probably could teleport, like, next to Rodania. I think that's the thing that I could do. And then glide down, kind of, from Death Mountain. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, that'll probably be the best way. Then it'll put me next to Rodania. I fly down. It'll cut time in half. Because it'll put me at the top of the mountain, so I don't really have to climb up as much. I'm kind of slightly disappointed that the spirit of Daruk isn't standing there. At least not that I see. Well, off we fly. Uh, yeah, because if I try to, like, get on it, 
I think it would get angry at me. Oh, I never read this. I don't know what this means. Heh. <laughs> 100 Famous Mountains of Hyrule. <laughs> Number 1, Death Mountain Summit. Oh, I just want to go over it, you damn bastard! Why can't they let me climb over it anyway? Alright. We shall... Go around... The angry lizard. I mean, it's not like the other ones. This one actually has, like, doors to the interior. Don't really see why I can't just climb on over it. It's not even like you can really climb on it. I would use Rukivali's Gale to, like, get more height to go down, but I don't think that'll help much since I don't think my stamina will hold out the entire way. Come to think of it, how much stamina stuff do I have? In terms of food, I don't think I have many. I have one. Oh, nope, I have more down here. So I can maybe make it all the way down. Just down there is an Igneo Talus that we're gonna kill with Daruk's own weapon, because why not? Would be hilarious if it was just an Igneo Talus with... Like, actually, hilarious it would be if, like, ah, you have to go down there and kill an Igneo Talus. I kill the Igneo Talus. I go into the shrine. It is a second Igneo Talus. I think that would be funny. Also, props on the developers. What was that, a shrine? I wish that I could mark it from up here. Oh, wait, no, probably not a shrine. That's just lava. Now that, that's a shrine. Well, actually, two shrines. Because that's Skull Lake, I believe, over there. Oh, wait, no, it's over here. Skull Lake's way too far away. Because I do believe that the Igneo Talus is marked around here. The Igneo Talus is in the lava. Well, that's mean. Oh, hey, a Goron. I'm gonna talk to him. Ah! Hey there! It's out today! <laughs> oh, great! Hylian? Uh, here? Does this mean. Are you going to visit Lord Daruk's turf? Daruk's turf? <laughs> That's right! I follow in the great Daruk's footsteps, too! In fact, I hear Lord Daruk defeated a huge monster at Lar Lake Dharma. Mm. I wonder what the monster looked like. Interesting. I wonder if this guy existed before... ...like the Champion's Ballad. Probably not. Well, I'm gonna put on Boulder Breaker, and I'm gonna come down there and kick your ass. Because you're in the lava. Like an asshole. Oh. Oh, this is why. You're not a normal Igneo Talus. You're a Titan. Boulder Breaker! Oh! Yeah, they don't want you to fall into the lava. I wonder if I can lure it onto land to get its drops. Come on over here. Come get me. Come on to land. Because surely you will drop tons of items. Divine Beast's Tamer's Trial, too. Or if it's just locked in there. No, nah, it looks like it's locked in there. Lame! Ow. I got knocked out of the air like a jackass. Movements are mean. Jackass! 
I hate this movement speed like that. Like, I should not be able to be knocked off that way. Because I'm just trying to land on it and smack it. Mid-swing, I go from swinging normal. How'd you do that? How'd you... I was on top of you. How did you aim your arm through your head? Like, that makes no sense whatsoever. You cheatsy little bastard. Like, maybe it expects me more to... Well, no, because there's the updrafts. This is a thing they planned for you. You better not drop things. Didn't look like they dropped things. But they could have dropped things. And there would have been so many. So many good treasures. Yeah, that first, like, the, like, first two hit, oh, did I get hit twice, like, of my own failing? I forget. But that last hit that I took, not my fault, <laughs> I refuse. That last hit, where it somehow yeeted its goddamn boulder arm in just a way. It was, like, evil. Remember to stay hydrated. In this hellhole of stone, te well, not stone, igneo talus god monsters. Looks like I'm. <laughs> oh. More to the left, I guess. Ah, I see. I see. It's the cannon over again. Why is it? Well, obviously, the right thing to do is to. <sighs> oh, that, that's far too far to the left. Travel time is important here. Don. All right. Height also very important. Gotcha. And there's another gate. I presume because of over there. Eh? You cheat, sir! You did not take my bullshit! Is it because you're locked now? That'd be mean. Okay, that time it wasn't taking my input for blowing up the bomb. Gem? I think I also need to... Let's see, there's obviously a ladder. Ah, and then I can take that out, and then I need to start aiming... to get the... the ball in there. To me, treasure chest. I kick you open. Diamond. I have spent one of those to get my great eagle bow that I've yet to use today. I do like that there are those things. Like, there are quests where you can easily get diamonds, depending on your overabundance of items. And then you can turn those diamonds into really good weapons. So, like, late game. Once again, it wasn't taking my bomb. I pressed it and it didn't go off because it's whore. Like, maybe I was still mid-swing animation, according to the game? Huh, then... 
Why does it want me to do? Maybe I, hmm. Let me go this way then, because there's obviously a gate, so I assume that it wants me to get the ball in the hole. Or I guess not, because there's another thing over here. Okay, same thing with motion controls. Alright, the motion controls on this one's a little funky, but... Here I thought I had to get the, the other ball, ball in the hole. Oh, it goes deeper. From me? Like... No, 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 you stay down. Kinda like that, maybe. From YouTube chat. Hello. Hey there, Neon, and hello, what's up? Right now, I am doing the final... Shrine of uh, the Rudania, like, uh, oh, almost a deep angle. For the Rudania, like, uh, I hate that it kind of auto resets to a degree, but the final shrine for the Rudania Champion's Ballad Quest. I'm just trying to think, because. I have to get by and shoot that. But I'm not quite sure how. I hate them. For this one, the motion controls kind of kick my ass, and I hate them. Because it's moving this thing kind of sort of aligned with my controller, but kind of not. And there's no real way to just be like, hey, can I freeze it? Reorientate my controller. Oh, oh. That's probably it. Because, like, if that's the... If I could demand one thing, it would be that. To be able to command the motion objects to freeze... And then I reorientate my controller so I have a better opportunity to move around the damn thing rather than losing my mind. And let me guess this will open up the final trial. Because if there's a three... I do believe they said, like, ah, find the three, and then the last one will show up. Da 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 da. Now that you have collected three emblems, you must go to the divine beast Varudanya. Well, that was fast and to the point. Thank you. But before that, we're going to head back to the pedestal to see if Cass is still there. And if we can be like, hey, we did all the things that was in the song. Make a song for me. I'm badass. Oh, damn it. I forget even where it was, though. Well, I think it should be pretty easy to see. It was like along here. Along there somewhere, so we'll go there. Because I want to see him again. <laughs> All the motion shrines I always give up. For me, it depends on the motion shrine. Because some of them, 
I can kind of cheese like the like uh, usually your first motion shrine is that like ball maze. I managed to just swoop the ball with motion physics just out of the maze and onto the ramp and win on my first try. But it really does depend because some shrines are like uh, harder than others. Very much a case by case basis. But I wonder why we'll have to go back to Varudanya. For like the final trial. Then again, I guess it kind of makes sense if it's like these are the trials that Daruk had to go through to earn the right to be the pilot of Rudanya. So it's kind of neat in that way. We're following in their footsteps. Yeah, we're just gonna fly over there. See if Cass is still there. If not, sadness. And if so, see if we can tell him that we did the things in the song. Because you can never tell with Cass. Sometimes he appears, sometimes he disappears. I don't hear his song, so I can only assume he's not there. He must have gone home to bang his wife. Yeah, we probably would have heard him by now. Considering how far away you can hear his accordion sometimes. Ah, well. Luckily, we can teleport up here. Wait a minute. I thought I heard a noise. I'm like, ooh, a thing noise. Pick up a bull shiny. But I did not. My ears are just playing tricks on me when I was opening up the map. Alright, we are up here at Varudanya. Oh, I guess we can go on it now. We've earned the right. Maybe. To the one who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Udania's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Through the realm of memories? Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Interesting. Ominous. Ominous! <laughs> We're going like Assassin's Creed Animus up in here. From YouTube chat, hello. What did I miss? I did the three like shrine trials for Varudanya, and now we're in the realm of memory. This illusionary realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. What do you mean? Am I gonna fight like a Shadow Daruk? Oh, oh no, it's this guy again. It's flame, it's fire blight again? Illusionary Realm, Fire Blight Ganon. Only with the tools provided, huh? Oh. I'll wait for you to maybe get closer in so I can... Oh. 
probably shouldn't be wasting my my ice arrows so much. Oh yeah, because now we need to throw bombs in your eye. I remember this. The kind of memory haze is a little annoying, but... Get smacked <laughs> with your physics body. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I, I glitched your face. Sucker. I was not expecting a, a guardian beam from you. I was not expecting that. I forget if it was purple light last time. But, but cool, I had to fight it with Boulder Breaker. Oh, Cass! Oh, oh my, my. For some, the best part of traveling alone is the freedom to get lost in thought, with only the wind to distract you. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Daruk has truly invigorated me. Mm. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here near the divine beast Farudanya, which Daruk himself mastered. Hmm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Daruk. The Corridania's champion of flame Before his fated moment finally came This is the tale of great Daruk's task And the princess who came to ask Oh! Cutscene time! I'm the fearless Daruk, after all. And if Hyrule needs my help, I'll gladly lay down my life. Thank you, Daruk. Not sure if it's have more time with the champions. What? But I hear monsters have been attacking people more than ever lately. Times like these, you shouldn't leave the castle without a horde of mighty Gorons to watch your back. You sound like father. He's assigning a knight to watch over me wherever I go. Yeah. I hear the top contender is the most accomplished swordsman in all of Hyrule. Huh? That could only be... Little guy. What the... They really are all over the place these days. Luckily, they're just low-level buckoblins. being attacked? Cowards. Wait here, princess. He has to go kick some buckoblin ass. <laughs> Amazing. Finalist little Pukos! No monster stands a chance when fighting me, the almighty Daru. But who is it you were saving? <laughs> Very impressive though. Safe. Oh, a dog! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, how's that dog surviving down there? The one being attacked. <laughs> Precious boy, you saved his life. Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're afraid of dogs, my dude. Well, He's just like Yanobu, <laughs> after all. Good riddance, and 
Stay safe. Yeah. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. As a kid, dogs always chased me. I still panic when I see one of those critters. It'd be hilarious if his like shield failed against wolves and only this. wolves. So tell me, princess. Yes. Calamity Ganon is a <laughs> He's not a dog. Some is kind he? of a dog, <laughs> is he? No, he's a pig. <laughs> Sally Daruk. <laughs> I suppose even champions are not immune to fear. So, what do you think of Champion Daruk's song? By writing a song that celebrates the softer side of Champion Daruk, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Mm. I was struck by a realization that the missing parts of the song can only be finished by my teacher's pupil. By me. I knew you could do it, little guy. Now you can use the Rook oh, hey. more than ever. If you see that Ganon jerk, give him a message for me. Good riddance, bacon breath. Neat. Daruk's Protection Plus. Divine gift. So long as you're holding ZL, it will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks. It now requires less time to recharge. Daruk's Song. Complete. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. That's neat. That's very neat. I wonder what now. Will I get too... Well, that's not getting too close. It's playing the cutscene again. Do you confront the home of... Dare you enter the Divine Beast? I am curious. Let's do it. <laughs> See if we can fight him again. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I was half expecting it to just be like, you're too close, go back. But no, we actually get to, I guess, fight it again. Very interesting. <laughs> You're a spinny boy, aren't you? Oh. That's not good. <laughs> My plan is just smack him. Smack him a lot. Now, where are you gonna hide? Yeah, get thrown to the ground. You're so wriggly. Now, now we can just like fight them again and again, I guess. If we truly want to. This is kind of interesting because this kind of implies that I guess Divine Beast Varudanya kind of evolves and is able to be like, ah, oh, I can tap into your memories to help you fight the fire blight again and again and again. Do I get Daruk's shield plus plus? Little guy, can you pass along a message to the youngster for me? Oh, new? 
Tell him, when I was young, nobody gave me the time of day. I was green as grass and timid as a mouse. <laughs> Just work hard, watch out for your brothers, and eat lots of tasty rocks. Do that, and you'll be stronger than me. It'd be great if you could tell him that for me, brother. Interesting. Well, I guess I'll head down to Goron Town. Share that information. Then if I want, I can just, like, come back and, I guess, fight Fire Blight and get new dialogue. Not sure how, mi how much new dialogue there is, but seems to be at least a decent amount. thing is, I think, yeah, Goron Town's just all the way down there, next to that big statue. It's hard to tell in the dark. Well, that's neat. Granted a little mean that it actually did take my Daruk Smite, but that just means I need to use my abilities more frequently. Well, that's neat. And I'll definitely need to set uh, set aside some time to just, like, beat up the blights over and over again just because I can. Uh, the main problem is I don't know where Yanobu lives. Some... I guess, a, I guess a creature fell into the lava. Oh, you have a quest? I'll add it to my list. My reckless brother hasn't come back yet! What in the world is he thinking? Brother? My little brother, Ganguron. I'm really proud of him, but... You said he was gonna go dig up the secret of the hero, and then he just took off! I really don't know what in the world to do. Secret of the Hero. Southwest of Gorko Lake, there's an abandoned spot called Gorko Tunnel. Behind that hard bedrock, there lies not just ore, but the secret of the hero. Or so the legend goes. Sure or not, it makes for a good story. I heard it from my dad's cousin's neighbor's uncle. Instead of chasing dreams, I'd prefer to see him face reality and help us out for our important Goron work. One thing is, I don't know where his house could be. Could be up here. I wonder how long Gorons live. Because nobody seems to recognize me. Well, this is a house. I forget if Yanobu said that he'd be in a specific place or not. Oh, there you are, boy. I guess this is Daruk's training journal. I'm going to start writing in this diary thing, starting now. Uh, diary. Maybe I'll call it my training journal. They say all you got to do is write down stuff that happens. Us Gorons prefer the simple life, so I hope simple stuff counts. Let's see. For today's journal entry, what should I write about? Oh, well, I know. I had some rock roast from the peak of Death Mountain. It was delicious. I think I'll eat more of it soon. I talked to some Hylians at the base of the mountain. All anyone wants to talk about these days is Calamity Ganon. Reminds me of when those tiny Sheikah came to Death Mountain a few years ago to dig up that divine beast or whatever. The Hylians were saying that beast thing is a weapon someone will need to learn how to control. Back in the good old days, Gorons didn't worry about relics we couldn't eat. Hmm. Now I'm hungry. Maybe I'll track down a prime rock roast for one of my dinners tonight. Today I saw someone being attacked when I was out looking for lunch rocks at the peak. It was a tiny little guy. 
so I rushed down the mountain to help him. I was shocked to find he was handy with the sword. By the time I rolled his way, he'd already taken out all the monsters. I couldn't help but admire his Goron-like strength. While I was distracted, a monster almost got the jump on me. He stopped it. The Great Duruk, saved by a tiny Hylian. I must have had a dopey look on my face when that happened. Hope he didn't notice. That little Hylian from before is named Link. He's got a respectable appetite. Loves to eat meat, fruits, vegetables, all sorts of things a decent person wouldn't dream of eating. Link will cook up and eat just about anything. I've offered him some grade-A rock roast to help refine his palate. I asked him how it tasted. He liked it so much he was speechless. I knew Hylians could eat rocks too. Eating isn't the only thing Link and I have in common. The little guy is also incredibly strong. He said sometimes when he focuses, it feels like time slows down. <laughs> I really like that guy. He's the type of guy you can trust to have your back and also have a nice hearty meal with. Yeah, that settles it. From now on, Link is an official brother. Hyrule's little princess came to Goron City and asked me to pilot the Divine Beast. I said yes. The Great Duruk never turns down someone in need. When I said I would would, the princess seemed really happy. There will be four champions to control four divine beasts, and one swordsman to take on Ganon. Including the princess, our anti-Ganon team is six strong, made up of all different kinds of people. This has the makings of an epic feast. I got the ball rolling by giving the princess my best rock roast. She said thanks, but I think she was holding back a grimace. Must have had something foul on her mind. I'm a champion now. Feels good. I hadn't talked with Link in a while, so seeing him at the inauguration ceremony was nice. It was a good day. A oh, word has it, Link has been chosen as Zelda's appointed knight. I can't think of a better brother for the job. I hear one of those ancient machine things went nuts during some test and shot out deadly beams. With true Goron spirit, Link grabbed a pot lid from the ground and deflected the blast. He nailed the thing in its weak spot and saved the day. His bravery caught the king's eye, and not long after that, he was appointed to guard Zelda. I'd expect nothing less from the little guy. I've been chosen to pilot Rudania, but I was having trouble controlling it. I was the only champion who was struggling. I asked Link for advice, but he just shoved me into the Divine Beast so I could explore it aimlessly all day. I can't explain it, but by the end of the day, I was able to control Rudania just how I wanted to. I guess experience is the best teacher. Link's little guy's strength must have been working hard and never given up. Good lesson, brother. As thanks, I'm gonna treat him with some gourmet sirloin rock. All my Hylian brother seems to do these days is watch over the tiny princess while she does her research. It looks like tough work, but the princess seems a lot happier and talks more since she's been doing it. So it must be okay. I hear the little guy open, finally opened up about his troubles to the princess while they were shoveling food. Surprisingly, she opened up right back, said something princessy like, I guess we're the same, you and I. Mm, sounds heavy. They must have been bonding over their food preferences. That'll do it, all right. Speaking of opening up, all this journal writing has made me realize something about myself. Writing makes me hungry. From YouTube chat. Hi, I went driving for the first time today. That can be, like, scary sometimes or invigorating. This can be interesting. I don't think I have wood to make a... I have a single wood, but that would probably just be catching a fire. I'll go ahead and sleep at the inn, pass time, and talk to Yanobu in the morning. But yeah. Driving can be very interesting. Rudania stops to read up trouble, and the magma bombs have stopped too. Of course, I don't go outside, so it makes no difference to me. <sighs> I'll just take a regular bed. Mm. Until noon. <laughs> Since it's only 20 rupees. But hopefully the driving went well. Just 
gonna see if you know who's up here, if he's wandering around. Uh, wandering around, it seems. Oh, you have a quest? The daytime sure is scorching here. In any case, do you have some amber? I need lots of it. Mm -hmm. Bring me ten of them and I'll buy I'll buy them for more than a weapon would pay. Uh, I really can't believe this heat. Do you have any tin amber? I should have tin amber at least. I'll sell. Very handy. Very neat. have to wander around until I stumble upon Yanobu. Still angry. Because his brother's out looking for a shrine. Could he have gone? Could just be up here, maybe? Maybe I can ask him. Mm -hmm. We're gonna stop making a ruckus so we can finally all relax. Nope, can't ask you where, where the boy is. Maybe I should have waited until morning. <laughs> Get blasted, idiot. Trying to think where he could possibly go. Farouk protection is now ready to roll. Neat. I really should use Ravali's Gale more. But I want to tell Yanobu what it is that Daruk said. the hell he is. So I don't think he could be that far away. Train gut, <laughs> a gut check rock north of Death Mountain. Come check the <laughs> train with us. Alright, interesting. Oh, up here you are. I should have come this way. Ah, it's you! Welcome to my secret hideout, Goro! Take a look over there, Goro! See? This is the best place to get a nice view of Rudania! To think we actually fought that thing! Amazing, Goro! And I wasn't even scared of it! Until just now! Mm. I... I did well, didn't I? Goro! You did your best! Oh. Yeah... Yeah, I thought so! Thanks, brother! This spot is our little secret, okay? Just between you and me. I mean, is it really a secret if it's a bridge at the top of the like the town? Anytime you want to get a great view of Rudania, just come here, Goro. Oh, did you need something too? Hmm. Where's Bluto? Oh, I think the boss is at his home, Goro. Just go down the road down below and you'll find it. The boss sure knows a lot about my ancestors. I'd love to have him tell me all about him sometimes, Goro. Mm -hmm. hmm. Tell me about Daruk. Mm, about Lord Daruk, Goro? Huh? Oh, that reminds me of something. I found the Lord Daruk's training journal. He must have been a big eater. He sure talks about delicious rocks a bunch. What else? Oh, Lord Daruk also had a good friend who liked to eat as much as he did. I don't have much of an appetite myself, so I'm pretty scrawny. I don't believe you. 
I'm gonna have to start eating lots so I can become as strong as those two. Training journal? Mm. That's right. I found it when I was cleaning out the abandoned North Mine where we met. Lord Daruk's training journal's at my house now, Goro. Mm. Do you need anything else? Uh, yeah. kind of sad that I can't yeah. tell. Maybe I need to talk to him again. Mm. Mm. Huh. Tell me something. Mm. What do you want to know? Hmm. Daruk's protection. Oh. Ever since we fought Rudania, I have this crazy feeling that my ancestor is always with me. Strange, Goro. So long as I have Daruk's protection, I have nothing to fear. Hmm. Tell me something. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Now that I defeated Rudania, I guess that means I've proven myself, right? Now maybe I can get the respect I deserve, Goro. My ancestor. I'll have to do my best to keep honoring Lord Daruk's legacy and all that. Mm. Guess that's it. Goodbye. Mm. Yeah, we'll definitely have to drop by and fight more fire blight. Oh, but now we have to. See, ah, no, it is a main quest. That's neat. Well, let us go and do Rito because we can. From YouTube chat. So Daruk's journal mentioned about Link's skills. Yep. I do like that the kind of time dodging, slowing down thing is like canonical and not just gameplay. Uh, do you think that humans is also capable of the skill? Possible. It seems to just be like... Like, it, I don't know. It could be that because he's a... Uh, like the chosen, like, warrior... For the, like, uh, sealing the darkness. Or it could just be a thing that anybody can learn to do if they're good enough. <laughs> hello, I am back. Hello, hello. And then from Twitch chat. Hey there, Neon. How's it going? It's going quite well. I've never done the Champion's Ballad before, so this is really interesting. <laughs> Thought I would drop by on Twitch this time. <laughs> and then hello, hello for it. That way, anybody can watch on either YouTube or Twitch, depending on their preference, or if, like, one service is breaking down or not. You can never trust one or the other. Oh, Cass, I hear your accordion! At least this one doesn't take you super far from home. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see, what weapon? I guess I'll put that on so I can... Use it up. Ba, ba, ba. Let's see where we have to go around Rito Village. I applaud your courage in coming here. The locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Well, so long as it's not a one-hit kill, I should be pretty good. I should probably go and cook some more food. Like, uh, maybe, I don't know. Alright, that one's, we'll have to take a look at these and do some map navigating. But first things first, we need to listen to Cass, because Cass Ooh. is awesome. Did that stone monument just start glowing? I suppose that proves I didn't imagine it the first time. Oh? Hmm? How long have you been here? I didn't even notice your arrival. Ah, we meet again. And it seems you caught me while talking to myself. Oh. Look at that. There's one here, too. One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. I wonder how his teacher managed to know about these, since they d didn't exist yet. <laughs> like, they were still buried. Ah, oh, sweet joy. How glorious to sing this song in front of the real monument. The song my teacher left behind, there's a verse about the trials that Champion Ravali overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. Winds ally souls, the land of cloud. Meadows champion, swift and proud, the hero's power shall grow. 
Seek trials, monuments show. One, shoot the flame dragon's horn. Two, race down a peak ring's adorn. Three, shoot for targets to win. Champion, the trials begin. Seems like a lot of bow and arrow. Fitz Rivali. So, did it move you? By asking around about the champions of each region, I'm starting to piece together the key verses of the song. The confidence it must have taken to master a divine beast. How inspiring. Oh. My teacher's dream is now mine to fulfill. An unfinished song weighs heavily on a bard soul. I won't allow it. But in order to see this dream to fruition, I must learn more about the champions of long ago. Thankfully, Teba and the Rito village elder Kennelly told me some wonderful stories of the Rito champion. Yet this unfinished song still pulls at my heart. And so my hometown is but a stopping point on this journey of mine. Let's see. This one's kind of a... Um, it's kind of like on a mountain's edge, kind of near green in a big hole following a river. So it's kind of... Could be the basin? Well, maybe the flight range. It's de it's definitely the front. It's definitely the flight range. Because <laughs> like just like kind of whole paths that are leading away. That cliff is the Rito Village area. That's the. It's the flight range. <laughs> All right. What about you? Let's see. So kind of like flat craggy. Just kind of along a mountain. Hmm. Let's see. Flat and craggy. I can only assume that it's over here somewhere. Let me take a look and see. If we just take it. So like from the flat and craggy on the other side. Because I believe, so, probably this side of Hebra Peak, more than likely. All right, let's see. So, kind of in a gorge area. Uh-huh, kind of a gorge area. Somewhere along here. Let's see if I can narrow it down. Okay, so there's kind of a hill formation. And kind of cliff. So on the non-Rito side, it's kind of up and downy. Or it's kind of a little bit of a bend and then straight. So... Over here, I would assume. All right, let's see. We'll probably also go by the Rito Village to talk to everybody, head to the Flight Range, up the Hebra Mountains, and down. Let's see. From YouTube chat, I've seen discussions around online. Uh, you know about instinct of fight or flight response? Yep. When a person or animal feels danger and fear, their brain focuses a short time to make decisions. Ah, so maybe you're thinking that might be tied to... Link's ability to think really fast, or at least act really fast, could possibly be it. Kind of reminds me also, it's kind of like adrenaline rush, the kind of thing like in a tense situation, time seems to slow down. And also kind of makes me think of uh, Epic the Musical that follows Odysseus on his travels. And how, uh, like Athena, at least in the epic, the musical version of events, Odysseus is kind of uh, patroned by Athena, and she gives him the ability Quick Thought. Makes his thoughts quick, so he can kind of plan things a bit better. It doesn't help him. 
Actually, kind of think of it, I don't think it does help him, like, in the story. I don't think he used it once for an actual thing. Very rude. And then in YouTube chat, howdy, how are we doing today? We are doing good! I just did, uh, Rudania's Trials for the, like, uh, Champion's Ballad. And now I decided, since Ravali is my favorite champion, that we're gonna go do his, like, uh, Vameto. Like, Trials. Especially because we get new, like, a new flashback and new, like, uh, dialogue from the champions. Can't you TP to the flat range? We could, but I want to come here to, like, talk to Teba and the Elder. Because they were specifically mentioned by Cass. So I think it would be interesting to talk to them. Since they were specifically mentioned. I forget if Cass specifically mentioned anybody in the, like, Goron song. <laughs> and as always, as you climb up a mountain of bird people, remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> more DLC and we find ravioli. Exactly. We get more of the bird boy! Just love the music in this game. There may not be a lot of music in this game, but what music is there is grand. Oh, but where is Teba? He might be at the flight range, come to think of it. Oh no, he's here. When Tulin wakes up, I'm going to take him to the flight range. Mm hmm? Hmm? What is it? If I'm not mistaken, there's something on your mind. Tell me about Rivali. Hmm. Link, as you know us, us Rito use our wings to fly forward. The wind lifts us up into the glorious sky above. However, we cannot ascend on our own. The Rito tribe used to believe this was an irrevocable truth, until Master Rivali's feet changed everything. Hmm. He learned to create his own updraft and crafted a unique skill that allowed him to ascend straight up into the air. I'm sure you can understand the great advantage of being above your foe. As a warrior, I am lacking in that way. However, I swear on the sacred sky above that someday I will surpass Master Ravali. Hmm. To that end, I'm determined to master his skill, to teach myself Ravali's gale. And was there anything else? The Four Targets trial. Hmm. A challenge of four targets, hmm. And you heard about it in a song. Shooting four targets at once, perhaps. And why does that sound familiar? Of course, I've heard Master Ravali accomplish something similar at the flight range. Are you going to attempt the same, Link? Yes, of course you are. I can see it in your eyes. Was there anything else? Nope, thank you, dear Teba. Hmm. I see. Let's talk to the Elder. Champion Descendant, I am happy to answer you anything. Tell me about Ravali. You're curious about Master Ravali. Ho <laughs> ho, what perfect timing. We recently found the diary of Ravali. We were all excited to locate such a personal item of the champions. However, not just anyone has the right to read something of that nature. That's why I left Teba in charge of it, since he admires Master Ravali. Diary of Ravali? Oh. Ho, ho, ho! The historic Diary of Ravali was recently found at the flight range, our champion so adored. Teba took the diary to his home for safekeeping. The Flame Dragon? It's probably oh. one of the... Ba -ba -ba, the Spirit Dragons that I do think appears in the... Like, uh, that... Gorge. Because we did, we found it once when we were traveling through the gorge to get to Rito Village the first time, so it's probably there. Oh, so you wish to hear about the Blazing Dragon? Well, you're in luck. A dragon was recently spotted near Tanagar Canyon. Oh. It's acting a bit odd, so we're concerned it may eventually cause trouble for our village. 
That is why I ask, asked uh, the village god Masley to keep a close eye on the creature. Well, that'll be it for now. <laughs> Let's read Rivali's diary. I won another archery competition today. As one would expect, the village can't stop talking about my winning streak. In short order, I've managed to break all of the previous records and set an insurmountably high bar. Everywhere I go, I receive praise and affirmations that I am the pride of the Rito. I could get used to this. The Elder asked me what I would like as a prize for my achievements. I told him I wish for an archery training ground. If I'm to keep this up, I need somewhere to train at varying elevations. I'm hoping to master a new move I've dreamed up. I keep pushing my archery skills to the limit. My dive is ideal, but the ensuing ascent is not as smooth as I wish it was. I must return to the flight range again tomorrow. There I will begin to... Uh, there I will become stronger. Better. I won't rest until I succeed. The Reno children look up to me. I hear they wish to start training at the flight range too. Perhaps it's not a bad idea to allow everyone to use my training space. These are dangerous times, after all. Tomorrow, I will try a new strategy I've been devising to control the updraft. I refuse to believe it's impossible. There's a persistent rumor in town that Calamity Ganon's resurrection is imminent. It can't be true, right? A few years ago, scientists dug up an ancient mechanical beast called Meadow. It was supposedly used to fight Ganon. Hyrule's royal family is in search of someone to pilot the beast... They say to do so requires something beyond skill. They say one's soul must contain an incredibly sacred power for a divine beast to recognize them as a master. They should have just asked me by name. To control the divine beast and defeat the calamity would finally allow me to prove myself to the world. Hyrule's princess stopped dawdling and asked me to pilot the divine beast. I asked what our plan is. I wish I hadn't. It's completely absurd. The Divine Beasts are little more than backup for some Hylian knight who has the honor of fighting Calamity Ganon. Me! A sidekick! I thought of declining, but then she looked me dead in the eye and held my gaze as she said, We must protect the precious life of this land from the Calamity's grasp at all costs. Hyrule needs you, Ravali. It was so corny. I almost died. But I won't soon forget the look in her eyes. She meant it with all of her heart. I thought Hylians only thought of themselves, but I suppose there's an exception to every rule. I'm going to accept, of course, but out of self-respect, I'm going to let her sweat it out a bit longer. Hyrule's princess is coming by to ask for my answer tomorrow. She will surely be overcome with joy when I accept, and her timing is exceptional. I'm close, so close to mastering my new move and showing everyone what I'm capable of. When they see it, they'll know without doubt it should be me fighting Ganon instead of that pathetic knight. And I can see it now, the king and princess and the knight all on their knees begging me to defeat Ganon for them. They'll say, please, Master Ravali, please use your otherworldly skills and intellect to defeat Calamity Ganon. I look forward to that day. I journeyed to Hyrule Castle for an inauguration ceremony. I now bear the grand title of champion. Meaningless pomp, if you ask me. If true strength relied only on title and uniform, everyone would be a champion. I do like the blue scarf, though. That annoyingly silent knight was as emotionless as ever. I can yet never tell what's on his mind. Likely nothing at all. Somehow I can't help but believe the stories about him beating adult knights in swordplay when he was only a child. Still, he doesn't stand a chance against me. There's no one alive who can keep up with my aerial combat. That reminds me. It's about time I came up with a fitting name for that move I created. What kind of name would be worthy? Rivali's something. Tornado? Whirlwind? Masterpiece? Hmm. The princess came to the village on the official business, along with her shadow, that insufferable knight. I tried to talk to him while the princess met with the elder, but he was his usual quiet self. Why do people like him so? 
I also gave him the privilege of seeing me perform Ravali's Gale. Nothing. No re reaction at all to my impressive feat. I showed it to him, even knowing there was a chance of failure, since it's still so new. He must truly be slow-witted. I tried to provoke him into facing me, but to no avail. It's like talking to a stone. Our interactions were a waste of time. So I flew off to find solace with Meadow. What's wrong with that guy? Daruk informed me that we have been asked to escort the princess to Lanayru. We're to see the princess off at dawn at the mountain's base and meet her there when she returns at sunset. Must I participate in this nonsense? Though, I still remember that look on the princess's face. When she asked me to pilot the Divine Beast, she was not only determined, she seemed desperate. She's aware she can't fulfill her sacred duties, and anyone can see how it weighs on her. It's difficult for me to comprehend the troubles of the talentless, but I'm trying. It's not that I dislike the princess. She tries her hardest. It's simply not good enough. No, I don't think I can spare the time to send her off in the mountain, but perhaps I will fly over to greet her at sunset. Perhaps that alleged sealing power will show her some mercy and finally awaken this time. That's neat. Very neat. And now we'll head over to the flight range. And see if we can do it. Although I wonder where Ravali's like diary had been for the past hundred years. They just didn't find it. Presumably it was found at the flight range. I think the Elder even said that. So it's just kind of funny. Oh, I forgot these horse guys existed. Oh, and I came here at night, so... Skellies are out and about. And an ice man! So many enemies. Oh, that. I, I timed that poorly. We don't want to risk it. Because I don't know. I, maybe it's just the electric ones that schmiggity schmack hard. Like I killed them with the bomb, they go flying and hit me anyway. But extra interesting that, like, apparently they can't, like, fly on their own. Yet I could have sworn that we, like, saw the. The, like, children of Cass fly up into the sky. Maybe they got lucky. Oh, let's see. I wonder if this will make a super duper. Let's see. Hmm. Seems like a waste of the meat. But we shall make more. But the song that's playing seems interesting. It's kind of interesting that this, like, place of Ravali has just, like, very calm music playing. Almost like a music box. Alright, so the, the, the game is... To shoot like multiple at the same time. I beat him. I could have shot more than him. Mostly because I just got my stamina up super hard. Power of the, the stamina. Uh, oh, it's all the way down here. Interesting. The real question is, how did the Rito build this place? How did they get like an updraft system? 
around these giant stone pillars. Well, onwards we go. What will the trial be? For Udanya, it was like dodge fire in spikes while being carried by blocks. Shoot a cannon. So I wonder what this one will be. All right, so this is obviously going to spark a updraft. Well, let's see. I did buy a decent amount of bomb arrows. So there's a thing there. I wonder if I could cheatsy doodle this a bit and use Revali's Gale. Nope, I think that my like uh, abilities thing is squarely deactivated, which makes sense. Kind of interesting. Oh, and there's like in the middle. Curious. I need to activate a lot of these to get launched up. As well as to escape. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that because now I'm going to be locked in there. Oh, I think it had like a safety where... It's impossible for you to get locked in so long as you're, like, in there. The door doesn't close from the looks of it, which is a neat little system. Hmm. I partially wonder if, like... I shoot through the bars. I can! <laughs> Booyah. Very interesting. Ta da. Now I just need to think of like a uh, best way to get to. Ah, like there. Then we go up one by one. Although technically I think I would have been able to get up like two by two, but you'd need to know like which ones to properly do. Very interesting. Always look behind just in case. Resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this gift, Meadow's Emblem. It's kind of neat. It's almost like these, like, uh, shrines were built long, long, long ago. And then, like, each of the champions just happened to, like, do all of these, like, challenges that kind of warranted them, like, access. <laughs> From YouTube chat, bye, gotta go. Thank you for spending some time here. Hope whatever it is you need to go do goes well. This place is cool. I really, really like the Rito. Now 
let's see. The next one I theorize should be up the mountain. Hmm. I should actually probably... Oh, Cass won't be there, will it? Let's see. Revali song. Race down a peak of rings adorn. Shoot four targets to win. Again, I really like this light music box that plays here. Seems kind of sweet. All right, but we're going to teleport back. And we'll talk to people, see, because I want to learn, like, what that race down the mountain one might have as, like, a story purpose. Because, like, Teba and then the diary kind of filled in the, like, target shooting. I wonder if you mentioned the thing here, or... Some other time, Cass. Yeah, but everyone will be asleep. Do, do. I guess I could head to... Like, uh, cause like this... Let's see, Tengar Canyon. Because I think they said they sent the, like, a guard down here to, like, look out for that dragon. Because I need to shoot its horns. I think it's, like, Mizzily was the name of the guy. But I don't know, like, where he was placed. Hmm. It is early in the morning. I'm just trying to think of, like, where they put the guard. Like he might be at the stable waiting, or... Then again, probably be like closer along that way. Hmm. Where I put my marker. So I'll try to like follow the like edge. So I presume he'll be on the Rito side. I just had a thought come to me. Like, similar to how the Death Mountain area burns wooden items, I wonder if, like... Ah, be gone, you big bloopers. But I wonder if, like, in the colder regions, if, like, metal weapons should have, like, been hard to hold in, like, cold regions, since, like, ah, it's so unbearably cold. Touching your metal weapons hurts your hands. Like, I think that could have been neat. It just feels like, uh... Death Mountain is... Like, very uh, unique in its... What's the word? In its, like, uh... Inhospitality. The sapphire just came flying right at me. And smash this because we can. We're right here. And another sapphire. Hell yeah. Hmm, there's a monster outpost up here. 
Might as well put on that since I was using it a bit. Because they probably, it's probably been long enough since I came up this way for them to have respawned. I don't know why. That feels like it should be a talus. Oh, it's because it is a talus. I used, like, the boulder breaker a decent amount. I could probably spare to smack you some more. I'll just beat your ass. I almost killed you. How dare you. You can't damage me while I'm on the ground. That's illegal. My game mechanic. Okay, what if I just climbed? Oh, I can't even climb your front. That's oh, that's dumb. I grabbed on his face like a face hugger. <laughs> like right as I was passing by, I'm just like, hmm, this seems very much like talus shaped. Lo and behold. Was Talus. I wonder how many Titans there are in this game, though. That would be unique to know. Or if, like, the Titans were specifically made... Or, like, at least the Igneo Talus Titan. <laughs> Interesting. There's a breeze across the way. I wonder why. If it serves a purpose or if it's just unique. If it's meant to, like, throw you off balance or that. I'll keep along going. But I probably should have, like, talked to the Elder again. And probably went from the Rito village down to try and find the guard Mizzily. Because, in fact, Mizzily probably is just the guard at the front of Rito village. Now oh, we're close by Rito village. Might as well. Then again, it could also be just a, a new NPC similar to the, like, three Goron guys who are like, Oh, we're gonna train where Daruk trained. Yeah. And then, oh, my stamina almost, almost got me killed. But, uh, just like those three Goron guys who were trying to train where Daruk was, like, uh, standing in lava. Or, uh, that one guy who was... Like walking around and says, so It's like, oh, yeah, Lord Daruk defeated a big old monster around here, apparently. So it's possible that he's a brand new NPC. From Twitch chat, I wish you a fun rest of your stream, Neon. I gotta go, but I hope you have fun. Thank you for spending some of your time here. And hope whatever it is that you gotta go do goes well. <laughs> Da, da. What's that? You got your hands on some Goron Spice? Can you show it to me? That's Goron Spice, all right. Hey, could I ask you to par of that Goron Spice for, say, 50 rupees? Sure. <laughs> I got this basically just for you. Thank you. With Goron Spice and Hylian rice, I'll be able to make some curry rice to warm my soul. Hey, your 50 rupees. If you come across any more Goron Spice, please bring it to me. Next time I'll trade you some Hylian rice for it. If you add other ingredients to Goron Spice and Hylian rice, you can make all kinds of different curry rice dishes. Try it next time you have some spare ingredients. Completely almost forgot about that. Nope, you're guessing it. Hey. Nope. But I guess it makes sense, so I guess probably this way is where we'll find our Rito boy. 
Then again, could be a Rito girl guard. times Beetle has shown up in a Legend of Zelda game. I know that he appears in Wind Waker, which funnily enough was also the only other game to have Ritos in it, I believe. Only they were much more humanoid. I'll just walk past you. I don't want to fight. Back off. You see nothing. You see nothing at all. You know, I was just about to say I haven't been accosted by Yiga Clan in a while. And then I saw you. Are you just Traveler? Hey, fella, do you like shield surfing? The truth is I started shield surfing to become popular for the ladies. Yeah. Before I knew it, I was obsessed. I'd like to try competing in the shield surfing competition at Hebra East Summit. Granted, I don't think the Yiga clan really care about tricking me anymore. I think they just care about killing me after I accidentally led to the death of Koga. I can only assume that he's actually dead. He fell down a big old hole. Now we're getting into the cold. Into the cold. The frosty, freezy cold. Well, there's a fire. That could probably be him. Probably be him indeed. And now it's fucking raining. Of course it is. I left the safety of the universe. Look how duty's tough. Oh, it's you. What a pleasant surprise. What brings you here? I came here because the Elder tasked me of keeping watch on the dragon that appears around here. It's been appearing quite frequently these days. Everyone's worried it's going to cause trouble for the village. After the incident with Meadow, I can't blame them for worrying. So far, everything seems fine. However, just to be safe, I'll keep be scoping things out for a while yet. Oh. Come to think of it, the dragon always flies through the, this valley at night. When it does, its horns light up. There's something about that light that's truly captivating. And let's wait till night. And we'll shoot those horns. Uno moment, eh? Oh, I thought that was a what do you call it? An out like a yeah, an outpost or not an outpost, but a stable. Oh. Guess I'm goodbye. Because oh. you say it comes here at night. You know what? We'll shoot it with Rivali's bow just because we can once it comes through. For some reason, brain wants me to fly over to this side to have a better, like, view of it. This makes me feel like I missed a bit of, like, uh, what's it called? Like, just missed some stuff from uh, the Goron Rudanya ones. Because I didn't talk to anybody. I'll have to make sure that even if Cass doesn't specifically name people to maybe ask around. 
important characters. Apparently these just have lots of sapphire. Look down just to make sure there's no dragons passing me by. Don't want to end up like those Goron guys that are like, oh, I looked away just for a moment and the light circle went away so we can't do our gains. You said they come out at night. I waited till night. I forget. Ah, I marked it. Good, good. So I can only presume it's actually midnight, but I guess it must have woke me up at, like, not midnight. Come on, dragon. Come on, dragon. All I need is just to shoot you in the horns. Which I guess to agree, maybe I shouldn't use Ravali's bow. Since it shoots three. I need to, like, specifically shoot you in the horn. Well, it's past midnight now. Oh, there you are! Just flying on by. Makes me wonder why Rivali shot you, according to the story. Why are you a Korok? Why? I just looked at it and I'm just like, it can't be, can it? Koroks, they're just everywhere. For no reason. We'll wait for him to get here so it's closer. We can just dive onto him. I wonder if you can land on the dragons. Forgetting that you're like kind of big and scary. Which also reminds me, I need to go to the Lanayru Mountain, I think. Because I still need to go there and uh, find the spring. And then also the dragon. I you think I would have ran into the other dragon. I ran into Farosh and this guy. go down there to grab it. For someone to come over here and talk to him. See if he has any lines about me shooting the dragon in the horns. Any dialogue about me and the horny dragon? Ah, so colossal. I know it won't harm us, yet my body can't help but shiver. Alright, I'll go down there and grab the horn piece, I guess. Then I'll Rivali's Gale climb and try to get to the U. Oh, it probably also seems to be leading me down here to, uh... Another puzzle. Let's see... Oh. A 
sworn that it would have been there. Also, why is the camera like this? Ah, it's, hmm, because it is. Okay, so if you're like that. So it actually is the one on the right. I just hold it there a little bit longer. I weep for the people that when I'm going to get, like, all of the Korok seeds without a guide. Those people are probably don't even exist, really. <laughs> Gotta climb up slowly. Gotta climb up slowly. Slowly I climb. I need to use Rivali's Gale more often. Hmm. I don't think there was anywhere else that would have been... Like, easier to... Climb up than this. Ah, over there, probably. And it's raining. Damn it. I'll come over here then. Why rain now, you bastard? Why rain now? Of all goddamn times. What? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Quick swap. fly over here, around the mountain, so we don't have to climb anymore. like some simpler climbing points so let me get over Wah. damn it hmm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it there either Oh, because it's raining, damn you. It's like, why did it have to rain the one time in forever that I'm in a place where it goddamn rains and I need to climb? It seems so rigged. For the first time in a billion years, I need to climb. Okay, it seems like a, a dry spell is hit. Maybe I can climb up here. Maybe I can trick the rain. Here is a kind of flat surface. Yeah, I definitely need to eat stamina. I came all this way. There we go. Made it over. In the goddamn rain. 
Like, I think the rain would be more interesting if it didn't happen so goddamn much. And it all- and because it happens so much, you really notice it when it comes to screw you over when you're trying to climb in the areas that it rains a lot. And it just rains a lot. And they already had the designated This is Eternal Rain with, uh, Varuta. And then they just let the rain possibility go crazy. It hurts. <laughs> Let's go in. Shiragama. The second shrine. What kind of trials of flying will have you do? Aim for stillness. Actually, you know what? <laughs> ah, darn. My simple plan would not work there. So it's all I know. I think I know what to do. I need to use stasis to freeze the doodad instead. the general idea, I just need to get my timing down. I'm like, uh, so I basically need to, like, freeze that and work my way up the currents. I'll use this as practice to get this treasure chest. Ah, nice. Ah, darn. Darn it! I slipped off there like a fool. I'll just let my fall fall. Did it. Very interesting. That last one, it's just the angle and the, like, the angled updrafts that are also moving. Meadow's emblem. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. One remains. have to go to the Hebra Mountains. And I don't think I have a teleportation spot nearby there all that much. Because, yeah, the closest is over here. 
Then I have to make it, but it's closer than others. <laughs> Oh, and I missed the Rivali's Gale recharge. Well, since it was actually pretty fast, I'll be extra liberal with my use of Rivali's Gale from now on to really get my exploration going. I just realized Rivali's Gale is going to come in so handy when trying to, like, traverse, like, a uh, Hyrule Castle. Granted, I'll also want to go through Hyrule Castle kind of methodically. Mostly because I want to actually find, like, ooh, that armor set and the cookbook and stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna deal with you. I already bombed you guys and fought you guys and you pack a punch. Not gonna do it again. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Interesting. Uh, do I care to do this? Huh. Well, you spawn eventually. I missed. I'm a fool. We just killed an innocent person down there walking through the Hebra Mountains. But I guess the boy... Ravali came up here, I guess, just to do flight training in the dangerous weather. Let's see, I'm completely wrong, do dad. Cobble crusher time. Mwah. More diamond for free! Free diamonds! Free diamonds! Diamonds that are free! Free for me! Well, that's rude. How dare. Goodbye! That's right, run away, niece. Oh, how'd you even get up here? How'd you stay up here? Why are there ice rhinoceros up here? Rhinoceros. Because if I looked at that diddly D correctly, like roughly up here should be. Why is there just a rhinoceros up here? The cold Donna, they don't expect you to come up from below them.
I just realized the Zora's Domain, like, exploration is probably gonna demand that I, like, uh, swim a lot. One second. Oh. Because I guess this is literal ice, so it can't really climb. Interesting. I'll come under that and see. Are there calamity monsters frozen in here? Hello there, I've come to murder you. You were dead, how'd you hit me? Fuck you. We'll go ahead and activate this just because we can. And now, we will go through these. Da 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 This is an extreme sport. Although I kind of would find it amusing if Ravali like, didn't do this flying. He did a shield surf. Because he thought shield surfing was awesome. The one downside is if I mess this up, this will be painful to redo. Because I'm going to have to make... Well, then again, I did activate that shrine. So that's probably what they intended. They probably intended that shrine to be the reset point. Huzzah! Shield surfing king, baby. The idea of Ravali shield surfing is hilarious to me. Come down here again. I can just teleport to here. Let's -a go. What will the final challenge be? I'll let this one do a turnaround. Magnets. Oh, so this is like a full thing. First things first, I'm going to go up there and get that. This treasure chest. Then we will babysit the ball all the way down. A falcon bow, attack up 11. Alright. 
some of it seems to be... Like, uh... Just setting up... Normal... Constants. Okay, so this part is set up normal constants. I kinda wish that one chest was metal that I could have manipulated. Probably shouldn't have done that so quickly. What? I think it flew off. Very rude. So I guess I hit, <laughs> left it at, like, the precise wrong moment. <laughs> at the very last moment I could have hit. Or actually... No, that wasn't it at all. I'm a fool. Okay, because I have to come down here to look at this. Okay, gotcha. This is another thing that I have to... ...prepare. I'll still freeze it just to be safe, and I'll go down there, and then I'll have to time that correctly. I feel like Ravali would have gone insane doing this. a little bit patience. Then again, he had a lot of willpower to do his training, so maybe he would have patience, actually. Really, the only, per the only thing in the universe he didn't seem to have patience for was Link. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this gift, Meadow's Emblem. It's mine now! Meadow's Emblem! Now that you have collected three emblems, you must go to the Divine Beast of our Meadow. That we shall. We'll get, presumably, a cutscene. A memory of Ravali. And then I think I might take on... Like, a uh, Wind Blight Ganon a few times to get some dialogue out of the boy. I like that the game even encourages you, hey, save your weapons, use metal instead. I guess just to be safe, I'll save. Hey there, bird boy. I long for war. The one who approaches this divine beast 
in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Meadow's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Let us go fight Wind Blight. I wonder how this much must be for, like, Raval. He's just like, he's going to go fight the thing again, but in memory? What's wrong with him? So I definitely have the great bow and a sword. This illusionary realm is created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. I wonder what kind of arrows I have. Take on this freak again. Feathered Edge. Get smacked, idiot. away again. Guess we'll put on... Oh, darn you! You dare dodge? be a pain to fire from run out of arrows. Go into your second form. Your second phase. Are, nope, they cannot be Magnesis. Darn. Alright, I don't think I've experienced that attack before. Oh, darn. Ow. 
Wow. Quit looking at me with your beady little eyes. had like the great eagle bow that probably would have helped a lot <laughs> take that wind blight again What's nice is that you kind of go in there and you don't have to use your own resources to fight them. Hey there, Cass. Mm. Perhaps meeting you here was no coincidence. This is a perfect spot for you to get lost in your thoughts, as well as a perfect spot for me to write a song. Ah, wandering around here and listening to the anecdotes about Champion Ravali has truly invigorated me. Mm. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. This is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the divine beast of our meadow, which Ravali himself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Ravali. Recall Meadow's champion of light. Before he fell to his fateful plight, the volley's feet was a wonder to see. So the princess made her plea. Ah, oh, it's nice snowing. She made her way over to the flight range as well. I do wonder how he managed to create the updraft. Yeesh. Harsh. Just shows how hard he worked for it, too. enough. I must stay in the eye of the whirlwind. Must push myself harder. You know, your highness, it's rude to eavesdrop. I mean, she just came over here. It's not like there's a doorbell to the you? flight range. I went to the village and I was told I could find you here. You have need of me to defeat Calamity Ganon. To slay the beast once and for all, it will be my great pleasure. Thank you, Rivali. If we work together, I'm certain we'll be able to defeat- However! <laughs> However what? It just immediately goes back to attempting his thing. Has to show off. Be hilarious if he failed it again. He's just like, I'm going to show off. Immediately eat shit again. Nice music there, too. Blows up his own flight range. I know I play the biggest part in helping that 
that little knight with the darkness sealing sword, correct? Well, if he loses his confidence after seeing me in action, don't come crying to me. I really like Ravali. Such a cool guy. Hmm. It seems the Rito champion was not one to share his feelings. So what do you think of Champion Ravali's song? By writing a song that highlights the hidden feelings of Champion Ravali, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. I feel much more confident that I can do those missing lyrics justice. I truly never imagined you would do so well. Regardless, Ravali's gale should be more efficient than ever. As you are, I guess it's theoretically possible for you to best Ganon. Now, Ravali's Gale Plus. Requires less time to recharge. Yeah, I need to just spam that. And we're going to go ahead and fight him again. So we get more dialogue. I'm not sure how much dialogue there is. But I know there's at least one more. Possibly multiple rounds. <laughs> be funny if they just kept going and going and going. Just got the voice actors to... <laughs> just hours of vocal content. It's like, what is all this for? Oh, after the player beats this optional boss thing multiple times in a row. I think that would be amusing. Now, where are you going? I'm not used to fighting this thing like normally. Hmm, maybe I should go to this and use these early. Darn. So I can get some feather blade in. that you do that, that's just mean. It's actually rude that it has its own, like, gale to a degree. Just making tornadoes. Round two. I should use this more <laughs> to bring it down. Darn it. <laughs> Damaged myself. Yeah, note to self when fighting this updrafts. Which means even if I didn't have like those, I could try to use like Ravali's Gale. If there was like a a game, that's stupid. I was hitting its hitbox game, you jerk. I have to 
kind of keep forgetting I need to wait. What's teleporting around? It's not physical. <laughs> Take that. Also, in a way, this is kind of like a decent training for, like, speedrunners to a degree. If they want to do, like, all Divine Beasts, you can just train against the individual fights to learn like patterns and stuff and effectiveness to a degree. And let's see what Rivali has to say this time. You again? <laughs> well, since you're here, tell me, how is Rito Village faring? Doing well, I'd say. Everyone seems to be doing well, as far as I can tell. I can't fathom that it's been 100 years. There's no one left who would even know me. But That's even depressing. So, it will always be my home. That's kind of depressing. After a hundred years, there's nobody left who knows him. It's like, as a person, and not a legend. I do believe that that will be it for now. As we... have done half of the Champion's Ballad, well, at least of these pieces. We did... Rudania and Meadow. Next time... We have Ruta and Naboris to do for the Champion's Ballad. And then, probably, depending on what time is, like, good, at the end of all that, we might do the final sword challenge. But then again, that would also be the longest one. Who knows, maybe we'll have a short stream just dedicated to doing the sword challenge itself. And then, depending on what follows, we might just end the game. Because I don't think there'll be that many, like, quests that I'm super interested to do. But I do think that we're nearing the end of the game, potentially. So that's fun. It's kind of neat that they allow you to fight the Blights again. As well as get new dialogue from the champions. That's just a really cool thing. Really, really cool thing. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, everything that I do can be found in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash Wings, With direct links in the various link places, bios, and descriptions of the sites. And in it, you can find links to my edited content YouTube channel, streaming YouTube or streaming Twitch, depending on your preference, with all of these streams being uploaded to the streaming YouTube after the fact for quality assurance purposes. And then other things in my link tree are links to various sites I upload art to, like my little character in the corner, or even the art I make for my insulates. And then other sites... Uh, that I are linked in my link tree are links to sites that I upload writing to because writing is fun and stories are good. And then the final link in my link tree will be my Patreon, a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye, bye. <laughs>